Vincennes University is dabbling in demolition. The university has gained a specific plot of historic land near the campus with plans to build off-campus housing. Lily Pezzavento talked with historians today about the project. She joins us now in the studio with details. Lily? Thanks, Tom. The Historical Review Board in Vincennes has just okayed a proposal from the university to tear down a building on historic First Street. On 600 First Street sits a lonely lumber showroom. Built in the 1920s, the building served as a lumber company for about 50 years before getting passed around to various owners. But I don't think there's anything in it now. Local historian Richard Day says the building may hold some history due to its age, but not enough to keep it from coming down. Vincent University came before the Historic Review Board a week ago, and as part of their proposed $15 million housing project, wanted permission from the Historic Review Board to demolish this building. And the Historic Review Board had no problem in, in granting permission to do that. The Historical Review Board does not take demolition lightly. A building must meet certain criteria, according to President of the Board, Tim Trotter. And we will look at the, the nature of that building. Is it is it non-contributing? Is it contributing? Is it notable? Is it outstanding? What kind of state of repair is it in? Once the building is demolished, the university will begin plans to construct the off-campus housing unit. They are taking into consideration the historic nature of Vincennes, their building in a French cottage style. Um, so I think at this point, that's what we have from them is, is a commitment from them to at least honor, you know, some of the historic nature of the city. The university also received permission from the board to tear down a pole barn next to the showroom. The demolition of these buildings will cover about four square blocks for these new historically inspired units. Tom. All right, Lily, thank you. Vincent's University has yet to comment on this development as the proposal was just passed in the last week.